What is up? So we're here, Handy Shandy's house. Thanks, well, thanks for providing the house, Shandy. No problem. Not my house. <laughs> His mom's house. Anyway, we're here doing a preseason setting up our tent for camping overnight. Last year we went on one. We failed a little bit, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah we, we thought we were prepared. Ended up having a foot, a uh, foot and a half of slush. Our tent was smaller than we thought. Our, our heaters didn't work. We still caught some fish at least, right? So that was good. But yeah, that's why we're here. We're gonna show you what stuff we're taking, how to actually be prepared this time, and just kind of making sure everything fits in our new massive tent. So we'll show you what we got. We're gonna put it all together and see if it fits. And so here we go, we'll show you. Here's all of our crap, lots of crap. Mats, cot, chair, tent, auger, water. Big sled, <laughs> little sled, medium sled. Uh, to lift the sled, help us pull it. Two heaters, muck boots, tables, cooker. You need the slippers, sleeping stuff, all this propane tanks and obviously our fishing stuff with the transducers all right so this is how we got it set up we got the cots one of the heaters propane tanks auger a little bit of the camping stuff and this sled this is the medium one big sled <laughs> this is fun tent tables sleeping bag we'll have another sleeping bag uh the pads shannon's got his fishing tackle box under there and then transducers so and then third this one we're gonna pull behind one of these two chair another heater water chair camping stuff and then the smitty sled this is what we'll set up put that sled on and it will be good so we're hoping we don't have too much crap to pull but when you don't have a snowmobile this is what you get oh she works <laughs> Hey, look at that. Look at that. Shandy's getting his pre-ice fishing season workout in. Man, he's going. He's going the full 50 yard. Oh, he's done. He's done. Woo! Go, go fishing. Let's go fishing. All right, guys, we're set up. Had a little bit of a delay. We were talking to Shannon's mom. She's a talker. We love her. So here it is. Let's show you what we got. We got Handy Shandy in here doing his job. He's fishing. All right, you walk in. Handy Shandy. He's got his ice fishing stuff set up there. We're going to have caught one, caught two. Look at this. So I'm going to come in. We're going to work our way over. Okay, what we got is we got the mats. We realized we need, probably need to get another pack of mats so to fill in this spot. Uh, all the stuff that I'm gonna talk about, everything, I'm gonna link it down in the bio. So if you're interested in any of it, check it out. It's all there. Okay, so mats, cot. The cot is just your typical cot from Cabela's. Do whatever you want, get that. I got a pad, my pad is insulated. This is a climate pad. I also have my climate pillow, inflatable pillow. And then this climate electrical, well, rechargeable USB. Inflator. inflator. She does well. So, it's good, small, packable, easy. Just got your typical mummy bag, negative 18 degrees. Typically in Utah, it doesn't get really any colder than that. So, and we're gonna be inside, so, yep. All right, come over here to the table. Table, we're not really sure where we're gonna put it yet. Um, but typically what we use it for is cooking. So, back here we got the little grill. Um, that thing, you can just use whatever type of grill you want. I got that free at work, so that's what we use. 
We got our Stanley two gallon jug. This is just water, water for drinking, water for cooking, water for washing your hands, whatever you want to do with the water. Um, Garmin, uh, we, I have the Garmin Striker 4 Plus. That's what I like to use. It's just small, it does the job, and it's pretty affordable for being a transducer. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put that either. Somewhere probably on the ground, close to my cot. I don't know. Um, great. Great in the heater. This is definitely needed. Keep your heaters lifted off the ground. Your snow, your ice is going to melt. Um, there's lots lots of heat, and you're going to be there on a long time, so you're going to have more of a pool than you think by putting your heater on the ground. So this is the Buddy Flex series. Um, this one's got round angles. Um, it spreads a little bit more. Um, it's not as powerful, though, as the Mr. Buddy big boy one <laughs> so that's what shandy's got we'll show you over here all right nice and bright we just have some duracell rechargeable lanterns so these things have different settings it's got a flashing red light even but we got two of them hanging and they do great so we got shandy over there still so shandy's got a similar setup he's got his cot we got the pads and also, he's got the Big Buddy heater, so on the grate with his Garmin Striker Plus. So, um, a few other things I got that are very helpful and needed. Um, I have this rechargeable battery pack. It is a big boy. This thing's lasted me a handful of days. It could charge your phone probably a good couple dozen times before it dies. It's also wireless, so I can just put my phone on top of it. Works great. Charge my GoPros with them. Um, does what I need it to do. So that's good to have. Um, if you're going out of service, in uh, uh, Garmin Mini InReach works great. That way you can connect your phone to it. You can still stay in touch with family. Make sure you're safe on the ice. Make sure you're efficient. Another thing I didn't bring tonight is a carbon monoxide detector. Always have those when you're sleeping on the ice. I would put it right here on the table, detect it. That way, with having the heaters running on propane all night, you never know what's gonna happen. The Buddy Series specifically have a detector on it, so it should have an automatic shut off. Sometimes that doesn't happen though, so you never know. So it's always good to have one of those. If you got two people, put them by each other's heads, it's fine. Rather be safe than sorry. That thing's going to scream in your ear. You're going to be grateful for it, but you're also going to be pissed at the same time. So, just be grateful because you'll be alive the next day so you can fish some more. So, this is just a few things. Shandy and I are hoping to go on a lot this year. We're hoping we can catch lots of fish. We hope we have some good videos come ahead. We're not really sure what's going to happen. We're hoping we can actually be prepared, not fail, like we did last year. Last year I made a video didn't turn into a video we just struggled the whole time and i don't have any more footage of it because it was such a struggle so we don't want that to come again oh few another thing these little hooks these are just eskimo attachment hooks you can just add them on you can hang your your coats hang your lanterns hang your towels just those little things so um when we're actually on the ice we'll have a much better video but this is just a pre-season thing Hoping that we can be prepared and ready to have some good ice fishing. So thanks for tuning in. Watch some other videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And we out.